Hello, welcome to my little paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah, and today we're gonna to be painting this cute little dolphin for Mermaid. I'm very excited about this. He's super cute. Um, just remember as we're painting to be nice to yourself, okay? Because we're all learning together. Not all of us paint the same. And that is what makes this world so beautiful. So have fun and enjoy the process, okay? So let's get started. Um, we're going to use a couple brushes today. First, I my best friend is this large flat. I'm gonna use a lot. And then I also have a medium and a detail brush. You can use whatever brush you have, but these are gonna be the ones I'm using today. But we're gonna start off with our large flat. Okay, so let's get it wet. Loosen it up in the water. Grab our paint. And as you can see, all of my paint is spread out on my plate. This makes it really easy for me to access it. So our first color today is gonna to be orange. Let's turn that back around. I'm going to mix some white with my orange because I wanna lighten it up. But if you want a darker orange for your background, you can use more orange and less white. And um, also this painting can be changed up quite a bit. If you want to paint an orange dolphin and a blue background, you could do that too, right? Okay, so once you mix your orange and white together and you like the color, let's go ahead and start putting it in our background. I like to go around my image with my brush so that the strokes really focus in on the center of my canvas. Okay, and that will draw the eye to our dolphin. I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way around. And as you're painting your background, remember you can wrap your canvas. That means you can take your brush and paint the sides, paint the top, okay? We like to do that at our studio. It just finishes off our work. It makes it really, nice and ready for display. All right, so we're just gonna keep going. As you can see, I started from the outside of my canvas and I'm working towards the center, right? And as I get closer to my little dolphin here, I'm going to add more orange to my brush because I really wanted my dolphin to stand out. So I'm making it a little bit darker next to my dolphin. If you notice, I'm gonna put some orange now on the very corner of my brush, see that? And then as I go around my dolphin, that darker orange is up against our dolphin. Oh, it came in there a little bit. Okay, so if you'd like to do that, you can, or you can just keep it the solid orange color you're using. Either way is great. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going around, trying hard not to paint inside our dolphin, but if you do, not a big deal because we're gonna come back and paint the inside of our dolphin and it'll cover that right up. Acrylic paint is great that way. It's super easy to cover, especially when you're using white in your paint. White's our best friend. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of a little bit shaded around our dolphin. All right, you have that shadow with the orange. And that's because I've just added some of the dark orange to the corner of my brush as I go around the dolphin. And I put the dark orange next to my dolphin. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. It's important that you move pretty quick because you don't want your paint to dry when you're floating the edges like that with the orange. That's how you can get that paint to fade nicely. So we wanna move pretty quick and not spend too much time worrying about the perfection of it. Okay, so we're gonna just keep moving around here. And as I get close to my waves here at the bottom of my canvas, it's okay to paint right over them as long as you can see your trace still, okay? If it's harder for you to see the trace, you can just kind of brush in a little bit, 
and not too much like that if you're worried about losing your pattern. But I can see mine, so I just go ahead and paint right over it. Okay, let's just keep going pretty carefully around our dolphin here. Around the bottom. Don't forget to paint the bottom of your canvas as you go. It's really easy to forget the bottom of our canvas sometimes when we're painting. It gets lost. Okay, so we're going to go all the way up there and just blend that orange right in. Here we go. And I like the different shades of orange in this painting. This makes it fun and bright. So I don't go back and try and smooth it out very much. I just leave it. I leave all those fun brush strokes. Let's go around this side. And that little fin right there. Okay. And I'm still, when as I go around my dolphin on this side, if you notice my brush goes around the dolphin. See that? moving in that motion around the dolphin instead of up and down or side to side I keep my brush moving around the dolphin that way all your strokes bring the focus on your dolphin okay we're almost done here Go right along the edge best we can not to pick up our brush we're just going to do the very best that we can do there. That's how you get that smooth stroke so if you don't pick up your brush too much. Okay, last little corner here. There we go. You see how there's different shades of orange there? That's because I'm leaving those shades on my brush as I go. I'm not mixing my paint too much. There we go. Okay, so right up here in this corner, to fill that negative space, I'm just gonna put a little bit of white on the corner of my brush and brush in a, in a circle motion. See that? Almost like you're doing a rainbow shape in the corner. Okay, with that white. If you want, you can put more orange on your brush too and brush it in there. And it just fills in that space and adds light to your painting. And there we go. Good work. You got your background in. Make sure you check your sides and the top and the bottom and paint them orange as well. I'm going to rinse my brush really well because we're going to go ahead and paint our dolphin now. I'm using the same brush. I'm not going to switch. I'm going to use this flat, large flat brush still. But I did clean it really well. Now my dolphin is blue. I'm using a phthalo blue and I'm going to mix it with some white just to lighten it up a little bit. I want to keep it pretty dark still. I'm not going to add too much white to it, right? But as you can see, just pulling that white into my blue and you can determine how, determine how light or dark you want it. Okay, once you have that, we can go ahead and start filling in our dolphin. And my brush is gonna go in this rainbow pattern with following my dolphin's outline, okay? I wanna try and keep our brush moving that direction so all the brush strokes go that way. Here we go, go all the way around. And when you try not to pick up your brush, you get a really smooth result. You want to make sure you have enough paint and enough water in your paint to loosen it up. So you can fill in any of those little white crevices on your canvas. They do show up, huh? And usually water will help take care of that. Okay. And this little fin right here, I don't want to lose where it's at. So I like to just go very gently as I'm going around there because it will get lost a little bit as you paint with this blue and white. 
go all the way around this little fin. And you know this this little belly on our um, dolphin is lighter. So I'm not going to paint inside the belly. Okay? We're going to come right around very carefully. If you go inside a little bit, that's okay. No big deal. Go right around here and go ahead and paint the tail. And I'm using the toe of my brush to do the tail. All those smaller little areas, you want to try and use the toe. If you don't know what the toe is, that's the very tippy point of your brush, as if your brush is standing on its tippy toes. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around this side. And I'm trying not to pick up my brush as I go around those little corners. That takes practice. So just do your very best. We just want to fill in all the space. Okay, let's go ahead and go up top here. Paint around this little nose. I'm going to kind of go around where the eye is going to go just so I don't lose it. There we go. Okay. Let's paint along the head here. If I don't have enough water in my paint, I run out of um, paint very quickly on my canvas. So you want to make sure your paint is nice and loose. Okay, let's go ahead and go around the nose here. Fill that in. And don't worry too much because we're going to come back and outline and it'll clean everything up. All right, now that my dolphin is in, I'm going to put this little fin on here. Shape it out. All right, and let's go ahead and do this top one too. Just paint all the way around that. Now while my paint is still wet, I'm not going to rinse my brush yet. Okay, we're going to float the edges a little bit, but we want to do it while our paint is still wet. It really helps the floating process go a lot smoother. So now that all the blue is on, I'm not going to rinse my brush, okay? We're just going to put a little bit of this dark blue on the corner. See that right there? Put a little bit of dark blue on the very corner of your brush and put the dark blue towards the edge of your dolphin. Just like that. And as you go around, you'll see there's a little bit of a darker shade around the edge of your dolphin. And that's the idea. That's what we're going for. I'm just going to keep going as we go around here. Keep that darker shade along the edge. You can go pretty quick once you get the hang of it. It's really one of my favorite things to do. It helps bring our image to life. So I like to float the edges. If floating is a little tricky for you, you can just take a detail brush and outline the edges with dark blue. That's another option too. And it's, it works great. You just really want your dolphin to stand out and having those darker edges will do that for you. Okay, there we go. For his little fin right here, Okay, we're going to do the same thing. You're just going to follow your little outline. Okay, just like this. Bringing that blue around. Like that. And you can make this fin as big as you want, right? If you want it to be a little bit smaller. Just do those lines a little smaller, no big deal. You can have a big fin or a smaller fin. But I like to outline it just like that. 
with my floating. I'm going to do the smaller fin too. Just do those edges. Really looks awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the top. And it, this floating with the dark also separates the, the fin on top there, right? I'm gonna move all the way around the head. Let's kind of blend that in. Okay, we're gonna do this little nose. I'm also going to go ahead and finish it right around here along the belly and the bottom part of his mouth. If you don't love the floating part, you can just blend it right out, okay? Just go right back over it with some blue and you can blend it right into your dolphin. Easy peasy fix. Okay, let's go ahead and do this top part, our last part. Just gonna float the edge right around there. I kind of like to make this fin darker too, so I just blended that dark in there. You can leave it light though. Okay. And sometimes holding your canvas helps as you're doing the edges of something. You can always pick it up and just hold it closer to you. It gives you a little more control. Or you can be loose. Just let it be. Remember, it's a painting, not a print, huh? So it's fun when you have lots of little strokes and things. All right, super cute. We got all the floating done. Good work, guys. Let's go ahead and rinse our brush really well and let it dry for just a minute. We'll come back to it. We're going to go ahead and do the waves because our background should be dry now, right? If your background's dry, you're ready to do the waves. My waves down here, because our dolphin's jumping, is a turquoise color. And I'm gonna mix some white and turquoise together to get my ocean waves. You can add as much white as you want. If you want it to be a lighter turquoise, add more white. I like to kind of just pat my paint. See, I'm just patting it with my brush. I don't do a thorough mixing because I like to have some white streaks in there too as I go. And to get that, you just kind of want to pat your paint and then and not over mix it. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and just start brushing in our waves. You're going to start from the bottom and brush up and let your brush just wrap around those corners. Try not to pick it up as you go around the corners of those waves. Okay, and if you can go around those without picking up your brush too much, it just naturally flows. And go right off your canvas. And this is where you can also wrap your canvas. So you can go right around the edge, finish off those waves. Also paint the bottom of your canvas. But the reason I like to go up as I'm painting these is because your waves are going up, right? They're coming right up with our dolphin. So if your brush strokes are going that direction, it's really gonna give the illusion that your waves are just splashing up. Okay. So I'm gonna start from the bottom, bring my brush up and right off my canvas, right? There we go. Go around this one. See, I'm not picking up my brush. I'm trying to just let it wrap around those waves. And I have one more just right here, going right off my canvas. So I'm gonna brush from the canvas down, just like that. All right, guys. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit more just to the side. If you feel like you need to cover up any orange, just let it flow there. Okay, and this is where I'm, I would normally lift up my canvas and just paint right under. 
I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can. Okay, so there we go. One more coat is all you're gonna need for those waves. We're just gonna let them dry now for just a minute. I'm gonna rinse my brush again. And as you can see, there's a little spot right here that I missed with my wave or with my background. It's right next to my wave. You see it right here? All you can, all you need to do is take a little tiny detail brush and fill that in. Okay, so if you happen to have a little spot that you want orange, or even if you brought your waves over it too much and you want it filled in, all you need to do is put some orange on your detail brush and go right back over it. No big deal. Super easy to fix. Okay. Same over here. Just gonna brush over that. Okay. Good job. Let's let those waves dry and let's add these little splashes. So as our waves come up, we have little pieces of water that are just flying away, right? So I'm going to add those next. Let's let those waves dry. I'm going to show you how to do these little drops of water. So you want to switch brushes. You want to grab a smaller detail brush, something you can use to shape with pretty easily. Okay. So right here, our waves are coming up. Okay. And I'm going to make just a little raindrop almost. Looks like a raindrop. You're just going to come up and circle and meet that little point again. So it looks like you're doing a circle, but you add a triangle on the bottom. Just like that. Okay. And you can make these as big as you want. If you want them smaller, you can even do that, or you can add more. This is totally up to you. Right here on this corner, okay, I have one coming up, and if this one, I did several little drops together. So I'm just gonna curve it around like I'm making a heart. Just like that. Like I'm making a little heart there. And then I add one more to the side. Just like that. Let's fill it in. So you can do different shapes here. The idea is to just make it look like you have that rain or that water splashing. And it looks a little bit like a raindrop. So we have another one here. It's kind of curving around. Right? Let's fill that one in. These are different every time I do it because it just depends on where my wrist takes me and my brush, right? There we go, we got one more right there. Okay, so have fun with the shape. And shape your own, get creative. I'd love to see what you come up with. And we're gonna come right over here now and do one. It's right in the middle of this wave. Do a little splash there. That. Okay, and then I have one more right here in between these, and it looks like a heart. So you're just going to shape a heart there. See that? Looks just like I made a little heart. And the fun thing with this is they don't need to be perfect. I love that when you can just be creative and see what happens, huh? Okay, this one curves around. We got one more right up here. Just kind of takes off from the rest. And splashing straight towards the edge of your canvas. There we go, I think we got them all. So fun. All right, we're gonna let those waves dry for a minute all that water dry while we go back to our dolphin. We're gonna fill in our dolphin's belly here, okay? And we're doing it blue as well, but it's a really light blue. So I'm going to add quite a bit of white to the blue that I use for my dolphin. I'm gonna switch brushes real quick. I'm gonna use a smaller flat 
Okay, and I'm just gonna pick up some white and add it to the blue I already have for my dolphin. Let's just mix it in. I want it really light so that there is an obvious difference in the shades of blue. Okay, so you wanna make sure it's pretty light. A very, very light blue. And let's just go ahead and fill in this belly. That's a pretty good color, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and put it in here. We're just gonna go right around the edge, finish this off. Trying not to pick up my brush as I go around there, just so I get that smooth edge, right? Around the little fin. Sometimes I really have to concentrate when I'm filling in a space that is small. We have to slow down, right? Go, just smooth it out. I come down here and I'm using the toe of my brush for those smaller areas, right? Want to make sure we're doing that. Come right around there. Try not to pick up our brush. Okay. Now with the mouth, I'm just going to paint right over it. Not too worried about that. If you are, you can go right around it and take the time to be really careful. Here we go. Let's go right around this bottom part too. Make sure we don't cover up our blue right there. But like I said, we're going to come back and do an outline right there to really help that nose stand out because it's super cute. All right, just smooth out your paint. There you go. We got our belly in. So now it's time to start putting in all the fun details. I love doing the detail work. It's one of my favorites. Okay, now real quick here, I just have this blue. I'm gonna cover it up with my orange. I'm gonna rinse my brush. All right, so while we let that belly dry, let's go ahead and put in our dolphin's eye. Okay, so you can either use a detail brush or a medium flat for this. I'm going to use a medium flat because I like to do circles with my medium flat brush. And I'll show you why, okay? My eye goes here. I like to use my flat brush to turn with my wrist. See that? I just move my wrist around. And as it goes, it makes a circle for me. So I don't have to do a lot of work. There we go, we're gonna go all the way around, fill it in. And you can make this eye as big as you want. Totally up to you. I like to start small and you can get bigger and bigger as you go. But it's really a lot more difficult to take black off. So we wanna start small with our circles and get bigger as we go. I'm doing this now so it can dry while I work on other things and then we can put that sparkle in our dolphin's eye. There we go, let's just let it dry for a minute. I'm gonna rinse my brush now. Okay, let's switch our brushes. I'm gonna use a smaller detail brush to put the little mouth in. And for the mouth, I'm just using dark orange. I'm not mixing it with white or anything. We're just gonna use the orange Come right over here to our mouth and fill it in. Shape it out here with our detailed brush. Here we go. Now I wanted to put one layer of orange on because I like to do two. If you do two layers with this orange, it gets really dark and that's perfect. All right, there's this cute little mouth. Let's rinse our brush. 
Good work. Okay, let's go ahead and start outlining. So now that everything's filled in, I'm gonna use my detail brush and add a little bit of water to my black. Okay, just wanna make sure we loosen it up before I get started. All right, let's go ahead and outline. I'm gonna start by just outlining some of my dolphin. I don't do all of it, just some of my dolphin. Just the areas that I wanna show separation so right here, see where that fin is? I really wanted to show that that fin is behind my dolphin. So I went ahead and added an outline there to that fin. And right up here up top, I'm gonna outline where it separates from that top one. Just right along the edge. I kind of let it fade out right up top there. Just let it fade away. That. And I'm going to go ahead and outline a little bit of the top of this fin as well. Right along there. And underneath where there might be a shadow. Here we go. Beautiful. All right. Now let's go ahead and outline this fin here because we really want it to stand out, right? So I'm gonna outline that one. I'm gonna bring it right around. Finish it off on the other side. There we go. Okay, now let's outline some of it down here, some of the bottom of our little fin here, of that tail, I should say. We're gonna go right around the edge. I'm not gonna outline the whole thing, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and do the bottom part so it really stands out here against the waves. And go right around here. and just bring it up. We're gonna bring some highlights in a minute here. That'll really help it pop. Right now we're just adding our low lights. So we're gonna bring a little bit here to the belly. Just like that. Now you can outline this with blue as well, if you want. If you wanna get that blue, the blue looks really good too. If you wanna outline your Dolphin. I'm doing it with black right now. Okay, let's follow it right around here. Okay, so this little mouth now, we're going to outline so we can see it really well. Let's first do the chin. I'm going to bring the chin around with that black, just like that. And you see how I came up a little bit with the black in the chin? I just came right up slightly. And our little mouth here, you're just gonna follow this line, but I'm gonna come up slightly away from the orange and bring it down. Okay, I'm gonna start right above the orange. See that? The inside of the mouth, where the mouth is open, I start right above it and come down and then outline the inside of the mouth. And right up here up top, you can either go around like a rainbow, or you can go up like a smiley face. I'm gonna go like a rainbow. I just like the shape of that there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the nose. Now as you come around the nose here, you want to connect the blue and the light blue and round it out, okay? So it looks like it comes together. And then right here at the top, I'm just gonna outline it a little bit. Just let it fade out. See that? Just let it fade away. Just like that. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna let it fade out. Okay. Just 
beautiful. Okay, I want to outline this area too, but I don't want to put my hand inside right there. I'm going to be very, very careful as we go around not to put my hand right in there. Okay, otherwise it will smear. Here we go, wrinkle all the way around. And this is optional. You don't need to outline that if you don't want to. Beautiful, I think we're good. We're just gonna let that dry now for just a minute. I'm gonna rinse my brush really well. And we're gonna do some highlighting real quick here. Now that all that's done, okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna put some white on it. We're gonna go right in here to where our waves are. I'm just gonna add a little bit of light to any of those drops of water that you want to. Okay, this is optional. I like to add a lot of light to my paintings. So if you want to do that, you can. It just really brightens it up. I'm going to add a little bit over here. You see, I'm just kind of curving around. I kind of pick a corner or an edge that I want to highlight. And I just follow it around with the white. And I don't dip it very often. This doesn't need to be super bright. You just want enough to help it stand out a little bit. Okay, and I'm also gonna add some light here, right at the base of his mouth, just like that. Now let's go ahead and do the eye. It should be dry. Your eye should be ready to go. If not, you'll want to wait just a minute, okay? But I think it's ready. I'm just going to do this sideways smiley face right in my eye on that point. See that? And let that dry for a second. Okay. Then I'm going to put some blue on my brush. I rinsed it. I got the white out. I'm going to rinse. I rinsed it pretty well. And now let's just add couple little details here. I'm going to come right up and add a little bit of an eyebrow right here above his eye or her eye. You can add that anywhere you like. Looks like a rainbow shape. And right here, some little wrinkles. There's a shape, rainbow shape there. And a smaller one just right above it. Isn't that cute? Just those little details make it so fun okay let's put a little bit of black on our brush now finish off our eye kind of have this eyelid that comes right up above the eye you can curve it around just follow the top of the eye just like that that's it okay we are just about done I'm going to show you one quick thing here with floating you want to grab a large or a medium flat brush. I'm going to use a medium. Make sure it's rinsed and it's a little bit wet. And I'm going to put some white just right here on the corner now of that brush, just like that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add light to my fin by just brushing along the edge. See that? You want to face the white edge up as you're going around the top of the fin. And curve it out, just like that. Okay. Usually it just takes one stroke if you have enough white on your brush. And then we're gonna add some to our fin here. Come around, I went up just a little bit, just kind of letting it fall where it wants to. Okay, and along here, I did both of them. Both of my fins on my tail. See how it just adds so much there? I'm gonna add a little bit here on this little fin on the back. And then I'm gonna put some in my waves. Just brush it right off the canvas as you go. 
You can do it on all your waves or just a couple of them. Totally up to you. I'm going to just pick a couple of them and add that light to it. Along there. And put one on this wave. Basically, I just did the very top of those waves and those water drops. Just wherever I think the light might be hitting it. Okay. And we have one more here, just along the top. Now, if you want, you can grab a larger flat for this one. It holds more paint, or you can just keep that medium brush. Okay, but you wanna try and do it, a good sweep all the way across that dolphin's head. Just right along the top. I want it just a little darker. I always start with just a little bit of white and then I add more if I want. It's always easier, right? To put it on than to take it away. There it is. And then I'm gonna flip my brush around, use the back of it and get a good chocolate chip to add that sparkle to our dolphin's eye. Just like that. I'm gonna put it right here. Looks like he's looking back and smiling at something. There you have it, guys. Good work. So right here, if you want that mouth to be a little darker, like I said earlier, just add another layer of orange along the base. And it just darkens it right up. So cute. Good work. Okay, let's sign our name. Most important part, right? We want to make sure we sign our name. Grab any color you want and a detail brush. I'm gonna grab a turquoise because I just kind of wanted it to blend in with my waves over here. Let's sign our name. Doing it right along the waves. There we go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for painting with me. I had so much fun. Please tag us so we can see your work. We really miss seeing you in our studio. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.